hi welcome to data on my view in this video i'm going to show element link in web intelligence so as you know we are using sap business objects there we have a uh, different tools to create reports dashboards uh, even um, widgets there are many separate tools available under one uh, roof uh, which is uh, nothing but sap business objects so in uh, if you take uh, sap uh, web intelligence now i'm using a rich client so here uh, we can create a static reports even we can create a dashboard uh, look and feel uh, with uh, different charts and table of figures and uh, most of the thing it is going to be a static report static report in the sense uh, so user can uh, select a value or filter a value in a prompt selection and based on the filter the data inside the report is going to change so they are not going to uh, modify or they are not going to uh, interact when there is a static report so the element link which is going to give you the option to interact with the report so uh, if you give a uh, uh, opportunity to end user to interact with the report then they will be happy to see that uh, that how the values are filtered when we interact manually in a real time so that interaction that report interactive uh, to the end user is going to be happened with the help of uh, element link so we have a document link uh, mostly uh, we'll be using document link to drill down to the next report so for example if i click uh, any of the city then it has to Uh, open the new report and it has to show the detailed information about that particular city so that was the case uh, usually uh, most of the developers will suggest to the end users but as a developer we have to make use of all the options available in the web intelligence so we need to suggest the end user about this particular element link how this is going to be very interactive So now I'm going to enable this uh, element link only for this particular uh, table of figure, which is nothing but city quantity sold and sales revenue. And based on this particular table of figures, I'm going to uh, modify the values on the uh, these three charts: pie charts, and this chart, and uh, bar chart, column chart. All right. So to enable this element link, just right-click on uh, the field which you want to enable. Uh, right-click city. and go to linking and go to add element link so when i click this option it is going to show that uh, field name here my field name is city and go to next and i'm going to give uh, this as a label and go to next here i have to choose uh, what are the fields i want to uh, affect or i want to change when i click this particular table of figures i have to change the value for uh, these three table uh, charts so i just selected and finish so now we have added a element link so the element link is the nothing but it's kind of a filter so as we it is a filter it is going to be available under input control section so here we have created a filter input control based on the element link so you can identify whether this particular element in your report uh, is enabled any uh, uh, element so you can see in the right hand side option uh, the option which is showing that this particular table of figure is enabled with element link so now if i select this particular city then all the values on this uh, charts will be changing so this is how that interaction is going to happen so based on the selection this particular value will be uh, filtered so miami is filtered uh, because of this filter these values are changing so if i select this particular value then uh, it is going to show the state and other uh, related values so this is element linking and uh, try to make use of this for uh, more interactive reports